right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Steve Levin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. The three, and now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, big punch land. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He is going after that overhand right. Now connects with a right. Blocks the shot. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to feed up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Nice strike. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. The Korean Superboy gets the tie clinch here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Boy, tie plump. And they separate. So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Able to check that kick as well. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punch in the clinch. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right hand on point. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, single collar tie here. Educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Punch to the body is blocked. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, collar tie. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is locked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, Superman punch lands. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Ooh, what a punch. Nice elbow. That's how you cut an opponent. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good enough. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice right hand, John. 
right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice combination there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. What a punch. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night if that landed. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Lands with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Swing and miss. Oh, he's got a good too. He's got one here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Chor. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially oh! for him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh, there's a go. Oh! Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big elbow lands around the side of the guard. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's got him right here. Wow. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're in top of that, you gotta continue, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back. And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly...
exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Beings called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got...